Hey, what's up guys? It's Panda here from Panda Gaming and welcome back. I have another tutorial for you today. Today we're going to go over the clinch game. The clinch game is a little bit harder in UFC 3 than it was in UFC 2. Uh, just based off grappling stats, the transitions are a little bit faster. Now, the transitions look the same, so I'm not going to go over it in huge detail. I'm going to show you what they look like, tell you how to deny them, and we'll go from there. So, let's clinch up. So we're in tie. Let's say we are Donald Cerrone and we're trying to stop Habib from moving on us. Now if you see that front hand slide across your body, that's R2 into the left is how you stop it. If you see the back hand coming in, that's R2 into the right because he's going to try to go to Muay Thai. The same is for Donald Cerrone, it's just flipped. So if you see the front coming, it's R2 and to the right. If you see the back one moving, it's R2 into the left. Okay, if he's going to break. It's the back, it's, but it's hard. It, that's hard, because look, over under looks the exact same as a break, okay? So if he's going to break, you know, I'll, I suggest going over under. If he breaks, you let him out. It's cool. It's whatever. We'll go from there. But I don't want him to get over under position on me, so I'll stop him from doing that. Now, as far as takedowns go, they can all look different, okay? It can be outside trip. I'm not going to shoot the double A's because we'll have to re-enter the clinch. But all takedowns are denied by R2 and down. It does not matter, okay? Outside trip, R2 and down, all right? Doesn't matter. So, R2 to the left, R2 to the right. Now, let's go to Muay Thai. We do have an outside trip here. Guess what? R2 and down is how you stop that. Now, let's go to double under looks the exact same. Double under here, double under here. The reason why is, I guess, because Ty is such a dominant position that they don't want... They, I guess they just didn't put a different direction for both, you know? So that's kind of hard, but not very many people ever do this. If they're in Muay Thai, they're trying to take your head off, okay? So, say Donald Cer Cerrone is trying to move. He wants to go to single collar. You'll see him put that back hand forward. That's R2 into the left. If he wants to go to a single collar to the right it'd be r2 into the right you see that front hand move front hand moves r2 into the right back hand moves r2 into the left by the way guys you guys have been killing it on my last videos thank you for sharing them thank you for liking them it really helps me out i answer back to all the comments so do the same on this video please let me know what you think so enough of that we're in single collar here, so let's go to double under. All right, double under. We have takedowns. We got some body locks, double leg locks. It doesn't matter because they're all denied by R2 and down, okay? If it looks like he's going for that takedown, R2 and down. Uh, back clinch would be R2 into the left. You see him trying to spin you around and get to your back. That's what that looks like. To go to tie, he's going to step back kind of and put, bring that hand in front of you. When you see that, it's R2 into the right. That's how you stop that one. If he's going to break, he's just going to let you go. He's in a dominant position. There is no transition for that. Uh, as in Donald Cerrone, he can go over under to the left or over under to the right. Okay? Same trend. You see it all the time. Backhand moves, R2 to the left. Front hand moves, R2 into the right. It does change with some transitions, but most of the time it stays the same. I see the backhand move. I'm like, all right. R2 into the left. If I see the front hand move, R2 into the right. Now, let's go with the back clinch. Back clinch, we have a suplex. You know, he's going to step in, dry hump you just a little. And that's R2 and down is how you stop it. If he wants to go to back sitting, he'll reach that hand like he's going to go for the rear naked choke. That's R2 into the left. This is based off of direction. So if it was flipped, it'd be R2 into the right. But here you would deny, uh, excuse me, deny by R2 into the left. If he wants to break, he's going to let you go because there's no transition for that. As far as Donald Cerrone goes, he can go to over under to the left, spinning that left hand forward, or he can go to the right. If you see him start to turn to the right, that's R2 into the right, R2 into the left. If he wants to break, he'll put his hands on yours and try to push them off and get out, okay? Just like so. That's R2 and up is how you stop him from breaking. If he wants to break, it's an advanced takedown transition, even though it doesn't take you down. Uh, he'll grab you and try to spin, and like he's still fighting with his hands. If you see him grab your hands like that, that's what that's my tail. I know it's R2 into the left, or if the screen was changed, it'd be R2 into the right. It's kind of the way that Donald Cerrone is. He's on the outside to your left. 
is R2 and to the left. All right, so, well, what else we got to do today? Uh, let's do against the cage. Why don't we spin, oh, yeah, I guess we'll just take him down, you know. Khabib, he's hungry for that takedown. Let's get him back up and let's get him going. We'll put Donald Cerrone against the cage and we'll go over a couple here. Look at our stamina, it's so bad, it's just trash. All right, if he wants to go to single collar, to the left, you see his right hand start to move. That's the front hand, it's R2 and to the left. You see the back hand start to move, it's R2 and to the right. Uh, Donald Cerrone, R2 and to the left, R2 and to the right. To the right, to the left. This is all going to be mastered with practice, guys. Practice makes perfect with the clinch. It's not an easy thing, and UFC 3 doesn't make it any easier. So just stay, you know, stay within yourself. Don't get too angry about it. Just, you know, keep practicing. You'll get it. If he wants to break, he'll try to step in, slide that hand down. It's such a slow transition. Uh, you can punch him. You can knee him. It'll stop that. Or you can just hit R2 and up. Donald Cerrone has two trips here. Uh, both of them are denied by R2 and down. If you see him trying to trip your legs, R2 and down. Habib, if you want to go to single collar, that's R2 and to the left. Double under to the left. He wants to throw you. Lean like that. R2 and down. If he wants to throw you the other way, hip toss high. R2 and down. That's a big slam. I like that one. All right. So we're in single collar. Front hand moves. Okay, here we go. Yeah. He's going to go to the tie. See him trying to dip and slide that hand in front of her face. R2 and to the left. Now, this is a tough one because it's R2 and to the right, and all you, all the tail is really is he pulls your head down. He kind of pulls your head in front of his. That's how you tell it's R2 and to the right. If he wants to break, he'll let you go because there is nothing, there's no, you know, it's a dominant position. Let's go to Muay Thai. And Muay Thai, you can go to double under. It's just like clinch uh, w without being on the cage. It's just like just regular clinch. If you're going from Muay Thai to Double Under, the transitions are exactly the same. You have to guess. You have to hit them, do something to stop it. Um, because I can't tell you how to deny it left or right because they both look the exact same. Now, Donald Cerrone. Say you're trying to hold him here. He wants to go to single collar. R2 and to the left. See that front hand move. R2 and to the right. See that back hand move. There you go. That's how you deny it. Just like standing up, he wants to break Muay Thai. He'll put his hands on your elbows. And that's R2 and up. He doesn't have any takedowns from here. Uh, let's go over uh, the spin. Spinning people to win. Um, let's get an over-under. If somebody's trying to spin you and get you against the cage, in this position, if you see them turn into the right, that's R2 and to the right, okay? R2 and to the right. See him spinning. Let's go to single collar. He has two positions he can go now. Okay, because he's less controlled. R2 and to the left, you'll see him spin to the left. R2 and to the right, that's how you stop those. R2 and to the right, R2 and to the left, okay? Um, what else we got? Let's, uh, did I show you his Muay Thai takedown? He's got an inside trip to pull you away. That's R2 and down, that's how you stop it. Uh, for the most part, I think that's it, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video hopefully it helps you out a little bit i mean even if you have to watch it multiple times to just get that tail like oh that's what that's what that is you know that's how i stopped that that's how you do it okay so thank you guys very very much i really appreciate you hanging out with me uh there was no stream today just because the weather we got a weather alert i had to go out get prepared you know i can't be caught stranded so thank you guys for hanging out with me i'll see you at the next stream appreciate it